everyone, welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm your host, Andrea Fasano. We're here live at New York Comic Con 2015, and the day is just flying by. I can't even tell you. It's just getting busier and busier in here, louder and louder, but I'm sure you could hear me over all of it. I do have a loud voice. Um, we are so excited to be here. It's day one. It's amazing, the, the sights and sounds of every little booth in here, and not so little booths. Um, and right now, I don't know if you see, I have a little outfit change. This is a sweatshirt made by um, Tokidoki. They're a brand out of Los Angeles, and it's actually their 10th anniversary. We're gonna show you guys some products from them later. But um, right now, I have this cute hoodie. I don't know if you could see much of it, but um, it's really warm, because it got a little chilly in here, so I'm excited to have it. And sitting with me, my guest right now, I was gonna say today, but I've had like 17 guests. You're right. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a busy day. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Greg and Patrick. Welcome from Spin Master out of Canada. They're a toy company, specifically jo Joe and Patrick. Joe. That's okay, you're I alive. It up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After it, I said it, I was like, You said oh, you had 17 guests, so I, I, I completely understand. It's Joe and Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm surprised I didn't call you Yoda. <laughs> well. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're focusing on Star Wars, right? Yeah. Tell right. us about your company and about the products that you guys brought us today. Yeah, so we're a uh, you know, global toy company, uh, 21 years young, and um, you know, make a make a variety variety of toys, in, including things like our air hogs and uh, awesome t awesome robotic items. So starting with with our Zoomer pets, so so Zoomer and Zoomer Dino, and then introducing Legendary Yoda. Awesome. So, Legendary Yoda, for those who may not know, what does that mean? I'm sorry? What does that mean for to you, Legendary yeah. Loda, Yoda? Like, yeah. in what form are we presenting Yeah, him? so Legendary Yoda is a 16-inch a robotic artificial intelligence Yoda that's going to guide you from, from being a, an inexperienced Padawan learner to a Jedi Master. Wow, and so how does he do that? Where, does he say things to you? Does yes. he, I see so he has a lightsaber. He does have a lightsaber in a sense. So, so he has, uh, he has three, key, three key modes, so he has, he has his warrior mode, so that's when he has his lightsaber in his hand, teaching you how to master to, to become the next, next, great, next great Jedi warrior. Then when he doesn't have anything in his hand is when he's in force mode, so teaching you how to, how to channel the force, and including learning how to do things like do a force push. Okay. So literally like push, push him. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and then when his cane is in his hand, it's wisdom mode. And then when, his, when he has his cane in his hand, so he, he, he walks and talks how, like, how we first met him in Empire Strikes Back, getting all the wisdom that Luke Skywalker gained to make him a great Jedi. Wow. So he's pretty sophisticated Yoda. Indeed. Yeah. Um, now, is there anything like this on the market? I think as this far is, as yeah, Yoda goes. For, for what we what we think we're, we're doing something that's really special, that's break frame, that hasn't been done before. Something that that Star Wars fans, both young and old, would would be really into. Both you know for just for how he looks, he, he looks like a high end collectible. Yes. Then he comes alive and you know teaches you how to be a Jedi. And what Star Wars fan doesn't want to be a Jedi? Totally, that's amazing. And then Patrick, I know you have the remote in your hands. Yes. That's for Yoda. Uh, this is actually for a Millennium it Falcon is. drone. So then who controls him right now? Nobody? Because he was doing something before. Y y there he is. Y Yoda, y Yoda has a mind of his own. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? That's amazing. Did we you catch we that? Can, we can say something like, Oh, it is? I'm ready to train, Master Yoda. So I, I, I let him know I'm ready to train, and he's oh. gonna he's gonna guide us through one of his lightsaber techniques. So he's voice activated. Exactly. Oh, that's incredible. So so there's a, there's key phrases key, key phrases that you use, and uh, right now he's showing you one of his advanced lightsaber techniques. So so when he when he found fought Count Dooku or Darth Sidious. Um, Unfortunately, he can't backflip, but we're working on that. Oh my but gosh! It, it gives you a, a lot of those, a lot of those great, great moves that that, uh, like you said, the aspiring Jedi can practice along and 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 perfect their technique. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's hilarious. I mean, what are some of the other phrases you say to him? Uh, you can say something like, "I want to be a Jedi." So. Oh wow. 
So, so now, now again, he's showing us one of his uh, one one of his techniques to help oh, get Jedi. Gosh, he amazing. can also do something like, can you sense the dark side? And he'll say whether they were in the presence of the dark side. Really? Do you sense the dark side? Sorry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's not good. But I mean, well, we, there's a lot of people at New York Comic-Con. We Comic -Con. are at Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I, I think I've seen a dozen Dark Vader's uh, totally. already. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, so now he's amazing. Um, and when is he being released? Uh, so he came out on uh, September 4th, so oh, the he, Big Force Friday. There you go. And available everywhere Star Wars toys are sold and online. Wow. So I wanted to ask you this question, but I said I wouldn't do it until we got on camera. What is the deal behind May the 4th be with you? Meaning, I understand may the 4th be with you, but yep. where did it come from, do you think, or do you know, and uh, how long has it been going on? I think there's a mixed origin for that. Okay. But, uh, so May the 4th is to celebrate all things Star Wars. So yes. If not, if everything, every day is basically Star Wars Day in a lot of people's world, but this is the day that everyone truly celebrates it. Uh, if, if I know my history correct, the uh, mayor of Los Angeles um, wanted to, to de dedicate a day to Star Wars. And so typically the, the movies every year have come out on in May. Okay. And then, you know, just ha has a nice ring to go. it. And yeah. uh, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Patrick, you have something that I feel like every child in the world is going to want. Tell me about what you have right there. So what we have here is a Millennium Falcon drone, which means you can fly a Millennium Falcon around your house or around your backyard. Um, and it, it was the first thing we went to when we found out that we could make Star Wars toys. Really? Yeah. Now, I mean, just because, has it not been done before? Is it not like? Not like this, no. So this, this is, is actually really stable, drone. really easy to fly. Uh, I'll try to show you right here. Go ahead. <gasps> Oh my goodness. So you goodness. got lights on the front, lights on the back, the sounds in the controller. You get little R2 sounds. And there's even a hyperspace mode. So you push the button on the back and you get a light effect, a sound effect, and then it shoots forward into hyperspace. Really? You can tell that all of our engineers are also big Star Wars fans. Uh, huge. So, uh, That's what I said. All, all the care and detail. I asked them, one. "Are you guys big uh, Star Wars geeks?" And they said, "Yeah, you have to be to create these kinds of toys," <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which you would expect. That's amazing. Now I know there's something special that's also about that besides. Um, the flying abilities. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so really cool thing about this is actually that it's extremely durable. It's made of a super lightweight EPB foam, so if you slam it and smash it uh, as you learn how to fly the Millennium Falcon, um, it's going to stand up to those crashes. Wow. Can you show us? You want to show me crash it? Yeah, we, <laughs> could have the, we have that thing right there, so anything over here you could do it like by Yoda. Yeah. All right, so there we have and it kind of has like a bounce to it. Look at that, it, it bounced off <laughs> Yoda, basically. Yoda's interested. Yeah, That's so insane. there's sort of a springy bounciness to it. It's not like a heavy, brittle plastic or anything. So it's not like kids are really gonna easily break it. No, it, it gives you plenty can't. of time to master the piloting wow. and, uh, and try all sorts of crazy things. Uh, well, I feel like something with this technology would be expensive. How much is it? Uh, so this is one oh nine ninety nine for retail. And I've actually seen some good deals uh, at less than that. Uh, really? Elsewhere, yeah. These are gonna be huge, like holiday gifts coming up. Yeah. And then what about Yoda? Yoda is uh, one seventy nine. Okay. I mean, no. that's really uh, not bad for something uh, that what, looks what, like a collector's what, item. I mean, he's insane. Exactly. So so we wanted to like so we designed it as a high end collector's item first. Yes that just truly comes alive. He's over 16 inches tall, yep. has his, the light up lightsaber with the voice recognition. There's over eight motors in there. The uh, m material quality is off the charts. And then, you know, what price can you put on infinite, infinite, infinite Jedi wisdom? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can get it, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but um, Awesome, guys. It's, uh, I love that you're from Canada. We, we talked about that right before, and I heard it with the, with, you didn't say house, but something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you heard it too. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. <laughs> so um, explain what it's like coming down from Canada to Comic-Con. Have you guys been to Comic-Con before? 
Is this one of your first experiences? So I'm actually uh, based in Toronto. Okay. Uh, Joe came over from LA. Oh, uh, okay, Our offices great. are yeah. split across uh, across the continent. Awesome. Um, but this is my first time here. Uh, we have an event in Toronto that's kind of similar called the uh, Canadian Fan Expo. So okay. we were there earlier in the year, actually on September 4th, flying our Millennium Falcons around. <gasps> um, but it was really cool to fly in here and, and come to this show. Yeah. And it's even bigger and, and energy is amazing on, uh, on just the first day. So. Exactly. And I've been, I've been going to conventions my whole life, but I was, I was excited that this gave me the opportunity to go to New York Comic Con for the first time. So I typically hit San Diego every year. Right. Uh, so we we initially premiered uh, Yoda at San Diego Comic Con. So it was the um, one of the, the very few or only items that came out on September 4th that could be shown shown ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So it was it was great to get that initial word out, and it's really exciting to to be in the exhibit hall right now and, and let the East Coast fans get get a taste mm -hmm. of Yoda for the first time. Totally. And how, what's the response been so far? Oh, it's it's Over been the top, it's right? been off, it's been off the charts. <laughs> yeah. The uh, you know both. Well, just see, see, seeing the Millennium Falcon, you know, take to the sky, it just mesmerizing. And then one, once you see Yoda light up, it's just, it, it creates like this ultimate Star Wars fan experience. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm sure people are all over this already. I want one of those. <laughs> I feel like I want both, but that thing is so cool. I mean, we were doing some other stuff before, but like, I don't know, can you fly that around while, while, yeah, I, uh, while I take us to the next commercial break? You guys, it has been so awesome meeting you. Yeah, Thank you so much likewise. for being here. Thank Thanks. you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, get to your local store and buy your Star Wars stuff. <laughs> 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 here we go. All right, you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, if you could keep it right right here. That's awesome. Yep. There you go. You're in the sweet spot. There we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. It looks fake. It looks <laughs> fake <laughs> in the camera. No CG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that foam, it, it's very real. -like. Is this a green screen? I know. That's what it looks like, right? <laughs> I want to like, touch it. If you do touch it in mid-flight, does it um, upset its... Uh, it actually has a gyro stabilizer inside of it. So if you do poke it, it automatically corrects it. No and way. keeps it stable, yeah. Go wow. for it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> That's awesome. I feel the air from it. People have been uh, trying to get under it all day, getting a nice air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, there. really. Yeah, it's hot in there. I'm sure people would love that if you're flying over. All right, Joe and Patrick from Spin Master, thank you so much for being with us. Yes, thank here you. Here on Be Terrific, you guys stay tuned. We have so much more coming up. I'm Andrea Fasano at. 2015, we'll be right back. <laughs>